All right. We appreciate the patience. We have some internet problems here. Um, the game's gotten started. David Walters was hit by a pitch. Leading off the game was just on that at second base, still on that plate now is number 11, Cole Crawford. <clears throat> so one down here in the top of the first. Cole fouls one off. Apologize for the delay Get on the air, y'all. We had to turn the internet speed down. We're down to standard definition, not HD. The internet was a little weak out here. So uh, that's where we're at. Sammy got us caught up. Gotcha. Cole swings and hits one down the right side, and that's going to be out of play foul. Just to make sure I'm caught up with you, Sammy. Two and two and one out? One out, yep. Okay, thank you. Two, two to Cole. Breaking ball swung on. Hit over to a third. Fielder there by Carey. And Cole's going to be safe. I'm going to throw an error. So Cole will be at first now, and that'll bring up number eight, Griffin Thomas. Thomas will be followed by Cruz, Hobbs, Johnson, Vickers, Ethan Crawford, and Isaiah Baker. First pitch to Griffin is high, 1-0. On the mound for the Bulldogs, number 20, Gage Williford. One oh pitch outside two and oh. Two oh pitches high and inside three and oh. Four to Bulldogs on the mound or four mentioned Williford behind the plate, number nine, Katie Cook. At first, Grant Gano at second base, Kendrick Noble, shortstop, Ashton Cook. Third base, Stone Carey. I'll give you the rest in just a minute. Throw to first. Cole back safe. In the outfield, left field, Talon Tarbox. The center field, Caden Cook. And right field, Drake Williford. Well, that can't be right. Ball, Ball four. four. What are we looking at? We're going to have a timeout call for the Lake County coach. I need to get a center fielder's number. They got this, the lineup ain't right that they have sent us for Lanier County. What shot you need? I need a center fielder's number. Center fielder? Yeah. I can't tell. He won't turn around. I can't tell his number. Okay. I'll try to get it for you. Our now batting for the Indians will be number 13, Colton Cruz. First and second, one out for the Indians. Fish to Colton is swung on a miss, 0-1. Colton D.H. today, he's hitting for Brantley Nettles. 0-1 pitch. So I'm going to miss 0-2. Oh, 0-2 pitch. Outside, 1-2. It's holding the uh, standard definition, but it would not hold that HD out here with this internet. 
One and two to Cruz. Here it is. Breaking ball in for a strike. Struck him out. Good breaking ball from Williford. Two down. Got to bring up Eli Hobbs. Runners still a first and second. Now with two outs. I know in the outfield, that's number three, Drake Wolford in right field. I know that for sure, and I believe that's tar box over in right. Need to move that? Need to move that yeah. box? You're good? Okay. Just Eli is a little check swing. He held up, and the ball's in for a strike, 0-1. Who won pitch? Inside, one on one. See, when you're on my left side, I can't hear you. <laughs> one one. Inside, two and one. Two one pitch high three and one. We need some we need some zoom buttons so they can zoom in and out. Remote zooms. Man, come on. <laughs> <laughs> How much more money? <laughs> three and one. We're gonna need some more sponsors. This one gonna hit foul. Three and two now on Hobbs. Oh. Crawford and Thomas. Will Next season, we'll, we'll put cameras on the players. There you go. Put GoPros on the yep. players' helmets. What you think? There you go. Three and two on Hobbs. They're good to runners. The pitch is a little four. high, full count. Don't load them up. So, bases loaded now for the Indians here in the top of the first. That's going to bring up number 29, Hayes Johnson. We're going to have a pinch runner for Hobbs. I think that's Baker. I can't see the number, but I, usually who it is. Probably Brody I Baker. can zoom them in if you want, but nah. it's going to take away from the outfield nah, if I do. You're good. Johnson up to play. Base is loaded. Two outs. First pitch team is hit. This ball's going to get up to the middle. It's going to be out for a hit. One runner score. Two runners will score. Hayes is going to go down to second, and he'll be there. So, big two out here for Hayes Johnson. And he's taking early Three. two to nothing lead. Just two in? Yeah. That'll bring up number 21, Garrett Vickers. Okay, I see him now on third over there. He was behind the blue of my angle. Two outs, runners at second and third. Pitch to Vickers is swung on, hit out here toward right. And caught by the right fielder for out number three. But the Indians get two here at the top of the first. Go to the bottom half. They lead it two to nothing. We'll be back right after this. Please remember to shop local. Support the folks that support your youth. Tell them CSN sent you. And don't forget, we're looking for first-round playoff sponsors to hopefully keep us on YouTube next week. Um, you can shoot me a message on Facebook at Charlton Sportsnet, or you can text me at 912-276-7999. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. Liberty Automotive is located in Folkestone, Georgia at 3488 2nd Street South. They're a full service repair shop with multiple bays to handle anything from an oil change to a major repair. Call today at 912-496-0066 for more information. Justin and the staff can handle it all at Liberty. Liberty is a proud supporter of Charlton's youth. 
Since 2009, Southeastern Automotive Group has been buying for and selling to most of the franchise dealerships in the area. What if you were able to bypass the big dealerships with the big markups? Buy direct from the supplier. Save thousands of dollars on your next vehicle purchase. Have a trade-in? No problem. With used vehicles in such high demand, Southeastern Automotive Group has dealers ready to buy your trade. If Southeastern Automotive Group doesn't have the perfect vehicle for you, using their vehicle locator program, they will have it shipped in without any hassle or haggling you hate. With over hundreds of thousands of cars available at auctions across the nation, your next vehicle purchase is just a click away. All right, welcome back to Lakeland, Georgia. We're live with Bulldogs and your Indians. Indians up two to nothing right now in the bottom of the first. I'm Adam Bell along with Sammy Hendricks. Want to thank the folks over here at Lanier County for allowing us to get out here in the outfield. They're always good to us over here when we come over here, and we appreciate their athletic director and all the people involved over here in Lanier County for their hospitality. Sammy? All right, leading off for the Bulldogs here in the bottom of the first will be number 21, Kendrick Noble, followed by Stone Carey and Grant Gano. The senior, number 11, Cole Crawford on the mound for the Indians. First pitch from Cole was high, 1-0. One oh pitch. Inside corner, one on one. Well, Sammy, uh, thanks to you passing this along over here to me. Apparently, Clinch defeated Turner sometime today, twelve to nothing. Right? That's what that's what Max Preps has on that's there. Max, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so that's going to affect the three and four seed between uh, Clinch and Eccles. Eccles. Yep. Eccles. Right now, your Indians are 23 and 1, 15 and 0 in the region. The Bulldogs are 20 and 5, and 13 and 3 in the region. So we technically have a two and a half game, three game, three lead, game lead, three game lead yep. over the Bulldogs for that one seed. Now our opponents in the playoffs next week, we don't know specifically yet, obviously, till the region settled, but Region Three is settled. And the four seed out of Region 3 is Montgomery County. That's right. Yep. Two and two. Right? Yep, two and two. Two two, just a little chopper out in front of the mound, Cole Field on the Got first, it. and time for out number one. That'll bring you number 23, Stone Carey. First pitch to Carey is outside, one and all. Defensively for the Indians, Crawford on the mound. Isaiah uh, Christian Eli Hawes behind the plate. First base, Garrett Vickers. Give you more in just a minute. 1 0 pitch inside, 2 0. At second base, number 29, Hayes Johnson, shortstop. Number 8, Griffin Thompson. At third base, number 1, Ethan Crawford. Left field, number 5, Isaiah Baker. Center field, number 3, David Walters. And right field, number 9, Christian, number 6, Brantley Nettles. 2 0 pitch, one will miss. 2 and 1. Outside, three and one. Three, one pitch. Woo, uh, must have been close. outside, I guess. <laughs> Ball four. So carry it first. That'll bring up number 15, Grant Gano.
First pitch is inside, 1-0. Call want a different baseball. The first runner back safe. Runner going. Pitch is going to hit out towards center. And that ball's going to get down and roll all the way through the fence. Carey's going to score. Gano will go into second with a RBI double to make the score two to one. So Gano down to second now. That'll bring in number 11, Ashton Cook. First pitch to Cook is swung on a miss. 0-1. Oh, oh, 0-1 pitch. Swung on a foul back. 0-2. Oh, Shakes off two signs, and we're ready to go. O2 pitch. Breaking ball swung on in. Through for a hit. So, Gano had to wait to make sure that ball got through, so he only go to third. And Cook will be at first now with one out. And then I'll bring up number five, Talon Tarbox. First and third now with one out. A little fake to third and fake back to first. Just a tar box. He bunts, lays it up to the first base side. And they're going to have a run down. They'll make a tag there. Oh, he missed a tag, I guess. Oh, they called him out now. I got so him. They have run a third. will be out. And tar box will be at first on the fielder's choice. So two down. Cook can move up to second. That'll bring up number nine, Caden Cook. First pitch to him is caught strike, 0-1. Oh, Cook at second. Throw back that way. Runners back safe. Ball down low, one on one. One on one. <clears throat> Time called. One on one pitch. Swung on and hit high in the air. Where's Griffin that? comes in, calls it, and Bleed Out Center made a catch for right number three. The Bulldogs get one to get back with him one. Two to one to go to the top of the second and his leader. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Indians Baseball on CSN.
Here's Six Seafood and Steakhouse, located at 853 South 6th Street in McClenny, Florida. Ste Go see old Salty and tell them CSN sent you. Here's Six Seafood and Steakhouse. Leading off the top of the second for the Bulldogs will be Ethan Crawford, followed by Isaiah Baker, then back to the top, David Walters. And he's got two in the top half, top half of the first, and Lanier's get one. Lanier Bulldogs get one back, and that's where we're at right now, going to the top of the second. Two to one Indians. They're still playing music next to me. First pitch to Ethan, low, 1-0. One of the pitches in the dirt, 2-0. Two old pitch swung on, on hit out toward center. It'd be called for out number one. That'll bring up number five, Isaiah Baker. First pitch team, a swung on hit over towards short. Fielder there by Cook. On the first in time for out number two. So with two down, that'll get us back to the top of the order. Number three, David Walters. Dave was hit by pitch in the first and was eventually thrown out stealing. First pitch to him, curve in for a strike, 0 1. O one pitch high, 1 and 1. Two one. Breaking ball in for a strike. Two and two. Two two. So we're gonna hit our toward right center. And that ball's gonna be called on a great play by number three right fielder Drake Wolford. Takes probably extra bases away from Walters. So nothing doing for the Indians here at the top of the second. Go to the bottom half. Indians lead at two to one. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Indians baseball on CSN when we come back. It's an inventory, home of the lifetime warranty, and we'll treat you like friends and good neighbors should. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevy, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. From the office of Sheriff Robert Phillips, go Indians and go Maidens. Rowan Property Services, everything you see here, plus eviction cleanouts. Call Bo Williams at 904-583-4572. Family owned Valancourt Construction, established in 1945. Valancourt is constantly seeking out new markets and opportunities as well as state-of-the-art construction technology. We consider this vital in order to provide value for our customers, career opportunities for our employees, and a bright future for our organization. Valancourt is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network.
It's hot outside, so come cool down at the Chill Zone. Pick from among our many delicious flavors. We specialize in snow cones, but we have such a wide variety of items on our menu, you can satisfy just about any craving at the Chill Zone. The Chill Zone is... Welcome back, Sammy. All right, going to the bottom of the second. Leading off for the Bulldogs will be number six, Hayden Mullis, DH. First pitch is swung on, hit high in the air, over behind third. Hayes over, calls it, and makes the catch around number one. Bring up number 10, Jackson Squires. First pitch of Squires is in for a strike, 0 1. O 1 pitch, swing and a miss, 0 2. Good curveball from Cole. O2 pitch, a little slow roller toward first, Gary to field, and he'll tag the base himself for out number two. Time called Coach Marchman is going to come out and speak with the home plate umpire about something. So after that, great conversation. Coach Marchman will go back to the dugout. That'll bring up number three, Drake Wolford. First pitch to Wolford or Creation. That's well, Squires, apparently that was a foul ball that Vickers picked up. That must have been what Coach Marshall was out talking about. So that'll be a strikeout. Out number two. Another break at number three, Drake Wolford. First pitch, a little high, 1-0. No pitch is high, 2 0. Three and 0 now, Wolford. Pitch breaking ball in for a strike three and one. Three one pitch swung on hit over toward third fielder there by Crawford on the first in time for out number three. So three up and three down for the Bulldogs in the bottom of the second. Go to the top of the third and then still lead it two to one. We'll be back right after this. Shop local, support the people that support your kids when we come back. 
So wherever you may find yourself with the need to keep your cool, just look for that bright yellow chill zone mobile and come cool down at the chill zone. In your time of need, give Rob Robertson a call at 912-496-7388. Shepherd Robertson Funeral Home says go Indian. ESP Specialist of Fabrication is located at 169 Little Phoebe Church Road in Buxton, Georgia. President Mark Pickering and his employees utilize the latest technology with a skilled workforce to supply customers with the best custom fabrication possible. Serving clients at home and abroad makes ESP a premier employer in Charlton County. For all your specialty and fabrication needs, contact ESP at 912-496-2583 today. They're also on Facebook at ESP Specialist Fabrication. ESP is a Welcome back to Lakeland, Georgia. Indians Bulldogs going at it. Sammy? All right, leading off the third for the Indians will be Cole Crawford, followed by Griffin Thomas and Colton Cruz. First pitch to Cole is swung on, hit out toward left center. And that ball's going to be off the wall. And Cole goes slide in the second with a leadoff double. I sure thought that was out, man. It looked like it was gone. So lead off double from Crawford. That'll bring up Griffin Thomas. Thomas walked and scored back in the first. And Willerford wants a word we cook. Talk about something real briefly. Now the cook is going back behind the plate. Thomas at the plate for the Indians. First pitch to him, he squares the bunt. He bunts one right there in front of the plate. Willer for the over, he'll field, and he'll go to first for the out there. So great job by Griffin Thomas to get Crawford over to third. And Crawford will be there now with one out. Got to bring up Colton Cruz. Colton struck out back in the first. First pitch to him is low and outside. One to know. Nice job behind the plate on that pitch by Cook. Might have saved a run. One oh is high and outside. Two and oh. One out. One out. Yep. Two go to Colton. High three and oh. Three umpires in today's reaching matchup instead of the normal two. Three oh. High ball four. Runners on the corners. So Colton will go to first. That'll bring up number 16, Eli Hobbs. We're going to have a timeout called by Lanier County. Let's go. Home plate umpire. I'll Play ball. Slow stroll out to the mound and say, let's go. <coughs> so first and third now, one out. That's going to bring up Hobbs. Eli Walt and we're stranded at third back in the first.
test one two Cruz the first Crawford at third runner going pitch is in for a strike they're down to second they're gonna tag Cruz out and Crawford will have to hold a third Own one on Hobbs. Two down now. Crawford at third. A one pitch. Curve outside. One on one. One on one. One one pitch is high. Two and one. Swung on and popped up out of play. Two and two. Two two pitch. Curve outside three and two. Time called. Eli step out, take a couple swings, and now back in the box. Now Williford wants a new ball. Two. Here it is. High ball four. Ball's gonna get by the catcher, but not far enough for Cole to advance. Now Eli around first, and he will go to second. He'll throw it down, and Cole break to the plate. They're gonna go there with him. He's gonna Save be. Home. Oh, oh he called him out of home. Oh, did you see that call at home? That's gonna and bring Coach March. Marchman I knew out, yeah. it was gonna bring Marchman. Yeah, I, I, I'm we way out here in Springfield. I think he missed that one, but he got the out call. They won't change it, but no, no, they won't you, know, you got to make your case. Yeah. They're going to stick with the gal call. So Indians had a couple runners on, couldn't get nothing in. Go to the bottom of third, Indians still lead it two to one. We'll be back right after this. Our sponsor, Carl Sportsnet. We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should at the home of the lifetime warranty, Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Charlton Electric, serving Charlton and surrounding counties with over 20 years experience in both commercial and residential services. Our electricians can meet your needs. We offer installation on whole house generators, service upgrades for mobile home services, troubleshooting, ceiling fan and light fixtures, and much more. Call us today for an estimate, 912-496-4528. Sponsor, Carlton Sportsnet. Northwest Buxton Auto Supply is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sports. For all of your auto and big truck needs, go by and see Sammy and his staff today. They have everything from lawnmower blades to parts for big rigs and heavy equipment. Park West Folkestone Auto Supply is located at 4439 2nd Street in Folkestone, Georgia. For all of your parts and accessories, it's Park West Folkestone. Go Indians! For nearly 20 years, Georgia's electric membership cooperatives have made... 
Welcome back. Two to one. But Indians lead right now. It wouldn't be a Lanier Charlton game without some tight calls, would it? That's where it wouldn't. <laughs> Y'all bear with me. I'm battling this internet. I'm trying to win the battle. All right, leading off the third for the Bulldogs will be the top of the order. Kendrick Noble, followed by Stone Carey and then Grant Gano. Noble granted out to the pitcher back in the first. First pitch is inside, 1 0. And I'm not sure. 1 0 pitch. So I'm going to hit out here toward right. Nettles over. And can't make the play. And they're going to call it a foul ball. One and one on Kendrick Noble. One and one pitch. Pop to the right side again and out of play. One and two. One and two on Noble. Pitch down low, two and two. Yeah, it's going to be a dead ball that hit him. And Nobles will be at first with nobody out. Got to bring up number 23, Stone Carey. Carey walked and scored in the first. Oh, yeah. So the first ball gets by Vickers, and Nobles will get up and he'll move up to second base. No, oh, now he's going to go to third. Third there is going to be cut off. So Nobles will be at third now with nobody out. So an error on the throw to first will get Nobles all around the third. First pitch to carry, a swung on and hit foul. Down the left side. Indians lead it two to one here in the third, but the Bulldogs are threatening with a runner at third and nobody out. No one pitch, high, one on one. Two and one.
Two on pitch, popped up, out of play. Two and two. Two two to carry. Here it is. Fouled off. Still two and two. Another two two pitch. Curve ball stayed outside, three and two. And Cole wants a new baseball. He'll get one from the blue. Count still two and two on Stone Carry. Two two pitch swung on and popped up on the infield. Griffin calls it and makes the catch for round number one. And Nobles will stay at third. That'll bring uh, number fifteen Grant Gano. They know doubled back in the first. Timeout called, and Coach Marshall is going to come out and go speak with someone. Third base umpire about something. What's Coach asking him about? I have, no, I have no idea on that one. I want to make a note of it and ask him Monday when we do the show. Yep. Ask him what that was about. So Nobles at third now with one out. That'll bring up Gano. First pitch, curve, in for strike, 0-1. Oh, one pitch, strike two. O2 pits. The dirt one and two. Chopper out towards second. Hayes fields, he drops it, picks it up, and won't have a play, and the run scores. So an error on Johnson. Gaynor will be at first, and we're all tied at two. And that's going to bring a number 11, Ashton Cook. Ashton single back in the first. All tied at two here in the bottom of the third. First pitch to Cook is bunted over toward first. Vickers the field. And they're going to call a foul ball.
That one pitch swung on and hit over toward left. And that ball's going to drop for a hit. So first and second now with one out for the Bulldogs. That'll bring up number five, Talon Tarbox. Tarbox reached on a fielder's choice in the first. First pitch in for a strike, 0 1. O one 1 pitch inside, 1 1. Cook at first, Gano at second. One and one to tar box. Swung on hit over tour short on the first double, double play. play. So the Bordos had it first and second with one out and hit into a double play. But they get one to tie it up. Go to the top of the fourth, all tied at two. We'll be back right after this. Please remember to shop local. Support your businesses that support your kids. We'll be right back. Friday Night Football, electrifying. As the official energy provider of the GHSA, Georgia's EMCs are proud to support high school athletics and the communities we serve. Standing behind every hike, every completed pass, and every team celebration. Because we know that today's high school athletes are tomorrow's local leaders. Georgia's EMCs. Allen Aldridge Insurance, located in Kingsland, Georgia, is proud to serve the communities of Charlton and Camden Counties, offering life, home, car, and business insurance. See Andy Gowan today for your insurance needs. Phone 912-729-7600 for more information. Protecting you is what we do. Gowan Aldridge Insurance is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. Welcome back, Sammy. Two to two, man. We got a, we got ourselves a battle over here. We sure do. Um, Indians get a run or two runs in the first. Bordos come back and gets one in the bottom of the first, and then get one in the top uh, bottom of the third. All tied at two, going to the top of the fourth. Leading off for the Indians will be Hayes Johnson, followed by Garrett Vickers, and then Ethan Crawford. A single back in the first, and we're stranded at second base. Gaines Waterford still on the mound for the Bulldogs. First pitch to Hayes is in for a strike, 0 and 1. A 1 pitch, fouled off 0 and 2. O two pitch curve in the dirt. One and two. One two pitch breaking ball in the dirt again. Two and two. Well, that roof in the background stands out like a sore thumb, don't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. I need to fix that thing. See, two two on Hayes Johnson. Here it is. So we're gonna hit out here toward right. And 
And it'll be called for round number one. That'll bring up number 21, Garrett Vickers. Garrett flew out the right back in the first. First pitch is high and inside, 1-0. One oh inside two and oh. Two Bo Garrett is chopped over foul. Down the third baseline. One and two. Curve stayed high. Three and one. Three one pushing that hit, pitch and that hit him. So Vickers will go to first now with one out. And that'll bring up number one, Ethan Crawford. Ethan flew out the center back in the second. Scrambles back. Just to Ethan. Inside, one and oh. You need that one time. Two and oh. First ball gets away from the first baseman, and Garrett will get up and he'll move up to second. Two and zero on Ethan Crawford. Two-o pitch, slow, three and oh. We're gonna have a timeout called. Rio in for a strike, three and one. <clears throat> three one pitch swung on and hit down the right side. Gano going over toward that fence and Makes the catch, and they go back to third for a double play, I believe. So, double play turned by the Bulldogs. Nothing doing for the Indians here in the fourth. Go to the bottom half. Still all tied at two. 
We'll be right back. You're watching Indians Baseball on CSN when we come back. Four Seasons Floral, located at 4415 2nd Street North in Folkestone, Georgia, has all of your floral needs covered from Valentine's to birthdays and weddings to life celebrations, prom, special occasions, or just to say you love that someone special. We deliver as well. Call 912-496-7043 and we'll assist you with any floral need at Four Seasons Floral. Liberty Automotive is located in Folkestone, Georgia at 3488 2nd Street South. We're a full service repair shop with multiple bays to handle anything from an oil change to a major repair. Call today at 912-496-0066 for more information. Justin and the staff can handle it all at Liberty. Liberty is a proud supporter of Charlton's youth. Welcome back. Sammy, we're tied at two, man. Yep. Leading off the board all here in the bottom of the fourth, Caden Cook. Cook popped out to the shortstop in the first. Cook will be followed by Mullis and then Squires. Cole Crawford still on the mound for the Indians. Start the fourth. Cole with only one strikeout in the game. First pitch is swung on, hit high in the air. Towards center, Walters in a couple, then back a couple and missed the catch right number one. I'm going to bring up Hayden Mullis, the DH. He popped out to the second baseman in the second inning. First pitch to Mullis is low, 1-0. and oh. 2-0. Curve stayed low, 3 0. Oh. 3 0 oh pitch in for a strike, 3 and 1. He must be crowding the plate because he was skipping to get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> 3-1, swung on and hit foul down the left side, out of play. 3-2. and two. Creek Box says they played Turner yesterday at home. Okay. So, I guess the date. He says they have a doubleheader with Turner Friday. 3-2 pitch, fouled off, still 3-2. and two. Yeah, they just must have the date wrong on the max preps. Okay. <clears throat> the count is full. All right, another three two pitch, do Mullis. Here it is. Fouled off again at the plate. Still three and two. These two squads, man, going after foul balls is a rivalry. Yeah. <laughs> They're racing each other, right? Like, keeps, the, keeps the pace up. Yep.
3-2. Curve. Call strike three. Got him looking. Good pitch from Cole. Two down. That'll bring up Jackson Squires. Squires struck out back in the second. First pitch, swung on and hit foul down the right side. Oh, one. Oh, one pitch, fouled off at the plate. Oh, and two. O2 pitch, Ooh, call strike three. Place. So back to back strike house for Cole. Here in the fourth, nothing doing for the Bulldogs. Go to the top of the fifth, still tied at two. We'll be back right after this. Since 2009, Southeastern Automotive Group has been buying for and selling to most of the franchise dealerships in the area. What if you were able to bypass the big dealerships with the big markups? Buy direct from the supplier. Save thousands of dollars on your next vehicle purchase. Have a trade-in? No problem. With used vehicles in such high demand, Southeastern Automotive Group has dealers ready to buy your trade. If Southeastern Automotive Group doesn't have the perfect vehicle for you, using their vehicle locator program, they will have it shipped in without any hassle or haggling you hate. With over hundreds of thousands of cars available at auctions across the nation, your next vehicle purchase is just a click away. Your six seafood and steak. Welcome back. Sammy, I haven't had lunch yet, man, and that Pier 6 commercial just hit. <laughs> <laughs> it always looks good. Leading off the field for the Indians will be Isaiah Baker, then back to the top, David Walters and Cole Crawford. All tied at two. Williford has completed his warm-up tosses. And Baker will come to the plate. Isaiah grounded out to the shortstop back in the second. All tied up at two. First pitch, curve, in for a strike, 0 and 1. A one pitch outside, 1 and 1. Williford's given up only two hits and struck out one. 2 and 1. Through four innings. Two one pitches in the dirt, three and one. Three one to Baker is chopped. Down the left side, but foul. So three and two on the Indians left fielder.
3-2 pitch. Swung on a hit at the left side, and that's going to be down. Isaiah take a turn at first and stay there with a the leadoff single. That'll bring up David Walters. David was hit by a pitch and thrown out stealing in the first and flew out to right in the second. Let's see if Coach Marston has David Bunton here. Throw the first, Isaiah back. Throw the first again. Just to Walter swung on a hit out towards center. And that ball's going to get down and go to the fence. Isaiah ran a second. He'll go to third. And David will go in with a double. Give the Indians runners that second and third now with nobody out. That'll bring up Cole Crawford. Cole reached on the air and scored in the first and doubled in the third. I'm stranded at third. And we'll have a timeout call by Lanier County coach. Think they walk Cole right here? Uh, probably not. It's not the two. I doubt it. Pitch to him. Yeah. They going to make a pitching change. Oh, they're going to change pitchers. Yeah. They're going to bring in the center fielder Jackson Squires. I believe he's going to come on the pitch now. The shift in left to center. Center's going to right, looks like. It looks like tar box will go to center. Right fielder's number three now. Yeah, I got that one. They ain't got center nobody in the left was your yet. left fielder. Yeah. So number nine, Jackson Squire to come on the pitch. Nobody yet in left field. Number nine on the mound. So got some um, little update from the boys and girls high school track and field. They both girls and boys are both the region champs. Um, boys coming, guys. boys coming first or the first place in the four by one hundred, the four by two hundred, and third place in the two hundred meters. So congratulations to the boys and girls um, track and field, both are region champs. That's awesome! Congratulations. All right, Squires has completed his warm-up tosses. He's set to go, and Cole Crawford will be at the plate. Runners at second and third, and nobody out for the Indians. First pitch to him is swung on him. Hit. That's going to get through. One runner score. Walters will go around third, and he will stay there. 
But the Indians retake the lead now, three to two. On an RBI single from Cole Crawford. And they'll be at first and third now with nobody out. And bring up Griffin Thomas. I believe it's going to be Chase Roden coming on the run for Crawford. Griffin squares and pulls back and takes outside ball one. One over to Thomas. He swings and fouls it back. One and one. One to one to Thomas. He squares the bunt and lays it down the first baseline. They'll field and Thomas gets caught out of first. But the run scores. Go to move down to second. One out. That'll bring up Colton Cruz. First pitch team is inside. One and zero. Colton struck out in the first. And Walt in the third. One and no. Chase runner, Chase Roden at second. One over to Colton, swung on and popped up. Over to a third base. Caught for out number two. Got to bring up Eli Hobbs. Eli's been to the plate twice and walked twice. So a runner at second with two outs now. First pitch to Eli. A little low, I guess. One and oh. One oh pitch. Curve. Someone going to hit foul. One and one. I gotta go up. I gotta go up top for a second. I panned it back. You got that shot right here. That's your shot. Swung on and hit out of foul, out of play.
Fist to Eli. In the dirt. Ball gets away, and Chase will go to third. And he'll be there. Just to Eli in the dirt. Nice play behind the plate by Caden Cook. Three and two now on Eli Hobbs. Three two pitch. Fouled off at the flow, dropped by the catcher on the first in time for out number three. But the Indians get two runs here in the top of the fifth to take a 4-2 lead. Going to the bottom half. We'll be right back. Winners of the 4x100 for the Indians will be the team is going to be Hamilton and Brandon Woolard, Jordan Tolliver, and Maurice Sims. 4x200, Brandon Woolard, Maurice Sims, Maury Wilson, and Trent Hamilton. Boys 200 meter, Jordan Tolliver finished second. Elijah Bryant finished fifth, and Brandon Wooler finished third. That's the 200 meter. And Charlton Track doing a big today, man. Yeah. Boys and girls. All right, Cole has finished his warm-up tosses, and we're ready to start the bottom of the fifth. Nine, one, and two for the Indians here in the fifth. Drake Wolford, and back to the top, Kendrick Noble. And Stone carry. Wolford 0 for 1. Grounded out to the third baseman in the second. First pitch to Wolford. He attempted to bunt. Missed it. Took a strike. 0 1. Sammy, I've been asked to pass along the local fire department here. We'll be doing a tornado siren test at 8 p.m. tonight, so everybody don't freak out. It's just a test at okay. 8 p.m. tonight. All right. LCN says they may stop the game for just a minute to let that siren go. So everybody hears calls and whatnot. Okay. So that'll be on game two. Oh, one to Wolford. Swung on, hit foul. Oh, and two. At 8.30. At 8. Gas. Gas. I can't. Yeah, we're, we're good. Oh, gas. Yeah, I'll be back, sir. <laughs> All right, one down here in the bottom of the fifth. That'll bring up Kendrick Noble.
Noble grounded back to the pitcher in the first and was hit by pitch and scored in the third. First pitch to him is inside. I want to know. One oh high, two and oh. Two oh pitch, th high, three and oh. Three out to Noble. Curve high and inside, ball four. So Noble will be at first now with one out. That'll bring up Stone Carey. Carey walked and scored in the first and popped out to the shortstop in the third. Throw to first, Noble back safe. Time called at the plate. Carry a step out. That was a good catch, man. It was almost out. Might ought to go over, just reach over there and turn off that AC since we got the door open. If you can reach it. Throw to first, then we're back safe again. It's that button under that blue light. Third to throw to first, close play, then we're back. Pitch to carry, runner going, and Eli couldn't hold on to the ball, and Noble will be at second. Swung on hit down the left side. Going back, and that ball is out of here. Stone Carey with a two-run homer for the Bulldogs. And with one swing of the bat, we're all tied at four here in the bottom of the fifth. That'll bring good number 15, Grant Gano. Pitch to Gano is swung on a hit out here towards center. Walters in a few steps and makes the catch for out number two. I'm going to bring up Ashton Cook. You have two outs.
And not sure what the holdup there was, but coach is ever talking to the batter. Cook singled into first and singled again into third. First pitch to him is low, 1-0. One oh pitch hit over toward third, but foul. One on one. One one pitch, breaking ball stayed outside. One and two. My question, two and one. Two and one. Two one pitch, called the inside corner, two and two. Two two pitch breaking ball got him in the back. So a two out walk by Cook. I'm gonna bring up Talon Tarbox. Tarbox reached Tarbox reached on a field of choice in the first, and popped out to the shortstop in the third. And we're going to have a change defensively for the Indians. I believe that's going to be – we have a new first baseman. It's like Garrett Vickers is going to go start warming up for the Indians. I can't tell who's at first right now being blocked. Tarbox out of plate, two outs, runner at first. First pitch is outside, 1 0. One -oh. 0 pitch inside, 2 0. Two oh snap third to first ball goes out in the right field. And Cook will move up to second and stop there. And we're gonna have a timeout called by Indians coach Marshall to come out to the mound. And I think that's gonna be it for Cole. Here in the fifth. A pitching change is going to be number 21. Garrett Vickers will come on the pitch now for the Indians. Cole will go for the mound to first base.
was six when grandma died. Hey, there's a fan right there by your leg if you want to plug it in up there in front of you. That AC just sucking so much gas, and <laughs> I want to make it through the night. Yeah. <laughs> It felt good though. <laughs> All right, Vickers has finished his warm up tosses. Uh, I believe the counts 3 0, oh, I believe, on Tarbox. Runner at second, two outs. Pitch is in for a strike. Just a tar box. High ball four. So Tarbox walks. He'll be at first. Cook at second now. Now to bring up Caden Cook. Cook has been to the plate twice and flew out twice. First pitch to him is low, 1-0. Pitch outside, 2 0. And Griffin's going to call time and come up to the mound to speak with Garrett. Inside. 3 0 on Caden Cook. Three oh pitches low, ball four, and that's going to load them up for the Bulldogs. Tarbox will move up to second. Cook will move up to third. And that's going to bring up the DH, Hayden Mullis. Mullis popped out to the second baseman in the second and struck out in the sixth. Bulldogs, Bulldogs have tied it up here in the fifth and looking to get more. Base is loaded now with two outs. First pitch to Mullis, in for a strike, 0 1. Who won? Hi, 1 1. Two and one. Got to throw strikes here. 
Got nowhere to put him. Two on the Mullis. Called strike. Two and two. Two, two, two out. Bases loaded. Two runs in. Uh, two, two pitch. Swung on them. Foul off. Still two and two. Another 2-2 two -two pitch to Mullis. Here it is. Curve in dirt. 3-2. and two. So everybody be moving on this pitch for the everybody Bulldogs. Be moving. Put it across the plate. Let your defense play. All right, three two pitch, runners going. Here it is. Swung on and hit out here toward right field. And that ball is out of here. Grand slam home run for Hayden Mullis. <clears throat> and the Bulldogs are taking the lead here in the fifth. Mullis takes a 3-2 pitch and hits it out to right field. To clear the bases. Yeah. And the Bulldogs now lead it 8-4 here in the bottom of the fifth. I said to put it across the plate, Sammy. I didn't mean to give it a grand slam. Well, he jumped on that high fastball and hit it out of here. Number 14, Brady Shaw will come on and hit for Squires. That's going to bring Coach Marshman out. And that's going to be it for Vickers. And Brandon Nettles is going to come in from right field to the mound. And Garrett Vickers is going to go to right field. So pitching change for the Indians. Go to a break. All right, we'll go to a break. We'll be right back. Located at 853 South 6th Street in McClenny, Florida. Steaks cooked to order, seafood just right, fish plates with all the fixings, hamburgers all the way, fries, and more. Go see old Salty and tell them CSN sent you. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse.
Walker Jones Chevy, expansive inventory, home of the lifetime warranty, and we'll treat you like friends and good neighbors should. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevy, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. From the office of Sheriff Robert Phillips, go Indians and go Maidens. Rolling Property Services, everything you see here, plus eviction... Welcome back to Lakeland. Pitch and change for the Indians. Uh, number six. Sammy and I were about to find out what kind of baseball team we've got. Yep. It's the first time all season we've trailed Brandon this late. N Brandon Nettles will come on the pitch. This late by this big a margin. Bulldogs have scored six runs here in the fifth inning to take a lead. They lead it eight to four. Two and zero on pinch hitter Brady Shaw. Swinging a miss. Two and one. Two one foul back. Two and two. Two two pitch, a little low. Three and two. That wasn't off by much. Three and two. Three two pitch. Call strike three. Struck him out. But a big inning for the Bulldogs here in the fifth, including a grand slam home run by Hayden Mullis. We we'll go to the top of the sixth. Eight to four Bulldogs. Got to get these bats cranked up when we come back. Call Bo Williams at 904-583-4572. Family-owned Valancourt Construction established in 1945. Valancourt is constantly seeking out new markets and opportunities as well as state-of-the-art construction technology. We consider this vital in order to provide value for our customers, career opportunities for our employees, and a bright future for our organization. Valancourt is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. It's hot outside, so come cool down at the Chill Zone. Pick from among our many delicious flavors. We specialize in snow cones, but we have such a wide variety of items on our menu, you can satisfy just about any craving at the Chill Zone. The Chill Zone is mobile, so wherever you may find yourself with the need to keep your cool, just look for that bright yellow Chill Zone mobile and come cool down at the Chill Zone. In your time of need, give Rob Robertson a call at 912-496-7388. Shepherd Robertson Funeral Home says go Indians. ESP Specialist of Fabrication. Welcome back to Lakeland. Indians find themselves in an unusual position right now, down late, 8 to 4, Sammy. A right, new pitcher for the Bulldogs, that's number 23, and I don't know who that is. I don't have him on the roster that we were given, so I can't give you a name. I do know it's number 23. Leading off for the Indians will be Hayes Johnson, Dan Garrett Vickers, and Ethan Crawford. Still getting lineup straight. I don't think that's that's not right. I don't think. That's probably why they're checking. <laughs> I 
All right, Hayes Johnson leading it off. First pitch called strike. A one pitch outside, one on one. One one outside, two and one. Granted over two short. Fielder there by Cook. On the first in time for out number one. Another bring of Garrett Vickers. Garrett flew out to right in the first and was hit by pitch back in the fourth. One and oh. <clears throat> one oh pitch in for a strike. One and one. Two and one. Two one pitch, slow three and one. Three one in four strike three and two. Three two pitch swung on a miss strike three. Two down. That'll bring up Ethan Crawford. Ethan flew out in the second and granted out in the fourth. I believe I got a name for number 23 on the mound now for the board. Oh, that's going to be Stone Carey. I think. Ball four. Yeah, that's Stone Carey on the mound. So a two-out walk from Crawford. That's going to bring up Isaiah Baker. Carey was in the original lineup. I don't know why I didn't see that. He started over at third base. Pissed Isaiah's in the dirt. Eight. Then he'll move up to second. Isaiah in four strike, one on one. One more on the curve outside, two and one.
2-1. Bulldogs lead at 8-4. We're in the sixth. 2-1 pitch inside. 3-1. Three one pitch outside corner three and two. Three two pitch, here it is. Swung on and hit foul everybody at first base dug out. Out of play. We'll have another 3-2 pitch to Isaiah Baker. Here it is. Swung on and hit. Foul down the right side. Another three two pitch. Outside ball four. Got your rally hat on, Sammy. And on the play, call for the go over to third. So first and third now, two outs, and they get us back to the top of the order. David Walters. David was hit by a pitch in the first, flew out to right in the second, doubled and scored in the fifth. Carry a step off. Now he's ready to go. First pitch outside, one and oh. Carry one of that pitch, didn't get it. Carrier step off and fake the first. One of the Walters in the dirt. Two and oh. Two-o pitch. Did he go? He held up, but I'm probably calling it a strike. Two and one. Two one low. Baker going. Be no throw. He'll be at second now. So second and third with two outs. Three and one on Walters. Three one pitch oh. high. Ball four. And that's going to load him up. That'll bring up the senior, number 11, Cole Crawford. We had two outs, bases loaded. Last time Cole was in this situation. He walked it off for the Indians back on Monday. Timeout called by the Near County coach. 
Pitching change or he's just setting his defense for Cole? I think he just said, I don't think he's going to change pitchers. <clears throat> if anybody's capable of tying this game up right now, it's Cole. If he can get the right pitch. You definitely got who you want at the plate right now in this situation. Home plate down far. See why they set game two at seven o'clock now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they, I thought they said this was Rick night, but I don't. Unless I'm just missing them. I don't see any Rick players nowhere. Rick kids, other than just a few running around. All right. Linear kind of coach is. Finish his little pep talk and going back to the dugout. Bases loaded, two outs. Crawford at the plate. Bulldogs lead at eight to four when the bomb in the sixth. First pitch to Cole. In for a strike, 0 1. O oh, one hit foul. O oh, and two. So carry way out ahead of Crawford now. I uh, must have been inside, I guess. Cook held it there for the umpire to make the call oh, and didn't get, that call. Yep. didn't get it. Looked like a good pitching way out here. I don't know what was wrong with it. Unless it was inside. So Cole will live to see another pitch. It is located at 169 Little Phoebe Church Road in Buxton, Georgia. President Mark Pickering and his employees utilize the latest technology with a skilled workforce to supply customers with the best custom fabrication possible. Serving clients at home and abroad makes ESP a premier employer in Charlton County. For all your specialty and fabrication needs, contact ESP at 912-496-2583 today. They're also on Facebook at ESP Specialist Fabrication. ESP is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sportsnet. We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should at the home of the lifetime warranty, Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Welcome back. Indian Squanner, a big chance there in the top of the six. Had the bases loaded and couldn't get any runs in. Go to the bottom half. They trail by four. Leading off the six for the Bulldogs will be Drake Wolford back to the top. Kendrick Noble and Stone Carey. <laughs> 